Hey guys, here we are, new week, Charlotte Roval, MX5's global fixed setup, I'm excited, I've really enjoyed uh, Charlotte, oh, not Charlotte, bloody MX5's lately, and I'm finding the more you drive it, the more you learn how to throw this thing around. Now today alone, all I've had, there was two laps practice for my last race, and then the race itself, and I've just had about five laps practice plus qualifying, and I've knocked over a second per lap. Last season when we were here watching Matt Malone, I was like, how the hell do these guys get such good times? And I'm putting it down to experience. You know, these guys drive these cars, have been for a long time, and they know how to push it hard. And I've actually knocked a full second off my best time. And that's from having lots and lots of practice since this track came out on this car so if you're having troubles stick with it now i'm up to 1300 i rating woo, 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 woo. I've made up like a thousand i rating in <laughs> a week and a bit so i'm getting back up to where i should be and um last race that i had don't know whether i'll put this race up or the um the previous one but I was at the, not the bottom split anymore, I'm at the fourth last split. And I think with an extra 80 I rating I got out of that, I'll be a bit further up. Anyway, without further ado, good luck everyone. Also, ten laps. The track in temp relation is to my last video, Celsius. everything is unchecked. Heads up, we're going green. Let's go. I'm just learning different things to do. Get that nose turned in and get on the throttle early. Don't worry about safety rating, we've built up a fair bit. Brake late here. I also think the setup this season of this car at this track well done, Brock. Good is start. a lot better. Try not to go forth here, you will understeer. Aim for the wall and just go for it. Now, Ralph managed a 27.7, and to be honest, there's not much in it time-wise, but there is the treacherous bus stop. Now, I was coming out this far, but the today I just thought I'd try to it here. And avoid that little blue hot dog thingy, sausage thingy, on the left. And we've already got two out. Stuffed it. Gonna give this guy the run. Slow in, fast out. Keep the inside line covered. Get on the throttle early. Come on, Knackers. Just learn little things. You can gain advantage on them. Fourth into here. Throttle to balance it. Into third. Get that nose turned. And get on that throttle early. See how far much time we make up on in there. So yeah, I managed to 26.8. Can't believe it. Amazing. So car nine, if I can keep P1 here, it'll be all right. You don't want to touch that blue sausage. All right, now let's take this last chicane a bit better. Nah, we're going wide again. That's all right, we'll improve through the race.
I don't really want this delta up because um, I don't think I'm. Oh, my steering stuffed. I don't want to compete with that time <laughs> in a race with a fear of overdriving. He's hitting walls too, which is good. How did I stuff my steering? Usually when you have damage, you feel it straight away. And I came through the chicane, but look, now I'm on the straight. Look, orange stripes all the way over. I'm gonna break here. We don't know what we're dealing with, but we're through. 2.93. Okay, so Ralph's hurt behind us. Ralph's off. <laughs> that means we've got... So I was really um, riding that last chicane. Your lap time was at 129.78. Yeah. But it seems to have damaged my car, so... Not the best. Probably in third, a little bit too early, but can still point it. The track temps increasing. It's now 49 Celsius. Okay, so the track is 10 degrees hotter than my last race as well. So if I can take this chicane with caution, we might not have to go in and get out. Oops. Uh. All right, now we're stuffed. Not trying to lose too much time. I think it was Thomas that I was racing in the last race where he got the win because of this. Look out for the pit speed limit. Hey, so we can get. Free repair here, no fuel, no tires. Damn it. I think you can drive behind through to the pace car, but. <sighs> Damn it. Well, at least we've got a healthy car. And we're car died, so we're not going to lose too much. If anything, we'll gain. We'll catch Ralph. We're only coming up to halfway, so... Well, we've got a crash okay, in front of you're us. Reeling. Heinrich, in. The gap's now 1.1. P5. Ooh. Nice re-entry. <laughs> Car right. Clear it's right. Damaged. You're clear. Two spots. Does that put us P3? And once again... This is brilliant. Keep it up. P3. Halfway home. Seconds Fuel looks good. Thomas.
Aim for the wall and go for it. The gap to Heinrich behind is increasing. It's now 3.9 seconds. Now, I'm pretty sure Thomas wasn't damaged last time. I think it's Thomas. He um, was just nursing at home, so I might have that up my sleeve. Don't right, hit the sausage. Let's get through it. It's not going to be enough. Yeah, it's the difference between the guys that are really up there and people like my like myself who can do a fast lap but doing it lap after lap you got to give him credit I mean did I learn the Lotus get down to this line Gonzalez in the gap is 2.1. Your times are good in all three sectors. Come on, actors. Oh, Thomas is off. Down to eight seconds with two laps to go. <coughs> How's this one going to pan out? No more free repairs. Wait, he's off. So this is now a race for the win. Yellow flag, watch out. Push now, we might get second place. Gonzalez is now leading. Anything can happen at Charlotte Roval. P2, two laps left. Come on, Money you're looking fine. good for a podium. Your last lap time was a 128.64. Better to lose a bit of time than crash out. Remember, we got a healthy car, he doesn't. The gap behind is increased to 11 seconds. Thomas is off again. Gives him the run through the chicane. I'm going to back it off. Focus on the exit. 
this is the lap we have to do it. Number 12, that's cutting the court, you know that, right? It's gone defensive, which is fine by me. to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. This right side. Clear right. Not really an overtaking spot there. Get it turned in. Shallow. It should theoretically Left be easy. Side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Get through it. Come on. Nice and easy. No need for heroics. Yeah. Anything can happen at Charlotte Roval. Well done, Brock. Great win. You deserve that today. Well, that was an interesting race. Car nine started first, went down to fourth, and that's the big difference, isn't it? Oh, look at these two fighting. That was good fun, but go back to my video from yesterday if you go and change that setting in the file and I'll leave a there'll be a link down below I'll put some cards up go and change the app.ini file it's something you do not have to think about at the start of the race you've already unchecked the tires and unchecked the fuel but you keep your free repair on so you just get in it wasn't even a good pit stop I was out wide I just stopped a bit early <laughs> but as soon as you stop and that Lollipop that raises, you're off again. So instead of spending all that time filling up, getting tyres over a minute or on a minute, you get back on and compete and have a crack to get back to where you were. So thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it, down if you didn't. Make sure you subscribe and come check me out on Twitch. I'll be streaming on the weekends. I enjoyed that one. That was good. Good fun racing. Why don't we go, now that everyone's finished, and have a look at what split we're at now. So that was, I'm at 1300. Woohoo! 92. So now I've gained like a thousand by rating. But more importantly, if you go up here to the splits, it shows you what splits. So we were still in the fourth split, and my times were not good. But. Good fun with uh, Guillermo. Good fun, good fun. We did that all day long. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time.